Paul said, uh, uh, I, I, uh, I'm in between two minds. Uh, I would like to go and meet the Lord and be with him. I've run my race and, and uh, I've done all that I can. And, and I have a great desire to be in the presence of the Lord and uh, to see him, to be with him, uh, to be absent from this body, this body of sin that I'm always warring against. It's always troubling me. The things that I want to do, I find I can't do. And the things that I don't want to do, I find myself doing. There's a constant struggle and a battle in that Christian life. He says, it'd be great to be in the presence of the Lord when I don't need that anymore more and also to see all my loved ones that had gone and to be with the Lord before me so Paul was in a bit of a uh, in a predicament do, do I desire to be with the Lord which I earnestly want or that I would stay in we find that Paul here is uh, his commitment is not shaken by his imprisonment he says no I'd rather that I would stay that my life will continue to bear fruit my life will continue to be a blessing to you. And hopefully the Lord will give us the chance that we meet again. And, and uh, we know that Paul managed to get out from that, uh, from that lockdown or that imprisonment temporarily and uh, was able to go and visit that church at Philippi. Now, I want, I want you to see that Paul's commitment was to this church. Paul's commitment was to bearing fruit in his life. He, he didn't look at his imprisonment and say, well, it's all over. That's it. There's no more for me to do. Uh, no, he was still challenged and said, with whatever time, with whatever God has put in my hand, I want my life to count. I want to be fruitful. And uh, he, he thought to himself, well, uh, for me to go to heaven, well, that's a wonderful thing for me. But what about the brethren? What about these churches? What about these baby Christians that are in Christ who need to be encouraged, that need someone to be an example for them, someone who nurtures them to grow? So Paul was more committed to the work, saying, I would like to go and be with all, but it's better for me to stay for your sakes. And I wonder whether people would be blessed by our presence. I wonder whether people would miss us truly if we were to disappear, if we were to stop, if we were to go away. And I've always challenged the church with this thought, will Regents Park, will Sydney miss Faith Baptist Church if we were to fold up and close our doors? Will people at your work miss you, miss your influence, miss your testimony, miss the word of God and the principles of God's word that you shared with people, the care, the concern you had for them? Would they miss that? Would they miss your ministry? Oh, the Lord may help us to understand that there are people who are in darkness waiting for someone to help them in the ministry of the gospel to show them and shed light to their life and the lord help us to be committed to that task as a church we're committed to spreading the gospel as a church we're committed to loving people and for their need and and to see them know christ and not only to know him but to be admonished and nurtured in the word of god to grow in grace and to to develop a great love for him to live for him and again in turn them going out and reaching their family and friends. Paul, oh no, he wasn't altered by the lockdown. Uh, that it, it changed his commitment. He was still committed to preaching the gospel. He still was committed to uh, servicing and, and uh, helping uh, the churches and to help them grow in Christ. And may the Lord give us that burden that even in this time we find ourselves in, we truly stay committed to the gospel and committed to the ministry.